Coach, what kind of talent did you see from Jalen in that state title game? You know, the size and speed that he's got, you know, he's he's uh, one, he's one of those kids that uh, doesn't come around very often, especially at the 2A level. Jalen Conyers has been dominating 2A athletics since winning a state basketball title as a sophomore with West Texas High. But it was this loss as a Groover Greyhound to Mart in the state title game that served as a warning shot to the rest of the state. We made it to Dallas Cowboys Stadium. That was our goal all year. And I told the guys at halftime, you know, this is, we might be down by 40, but you know, we still got to play. We have something to play for. All these people didn't come here just to see us get beat by 40. You know, I, there's one thing that sticks out. There was a um, time there in the second half, and he he called for the ball, it, you know, and that doesn't happen very often. I mean, we, you know, he just he uh, he said, "Coach, I'll go get it." After recording more than 200 yards receiving, the performance also proved to be a warning shot for college coaches to make sure not to miss out on the High Plains product. It came out of nowhere for football, especially. We we didn't know, you know, or that that he was even on the radar for anything in football. We kind of in a half-hearted attempt was like, oh, maybe we should put a football video together. Well, then when we put it out and it kind of took off, we had discussions like, well, is he really that good? I mean, like, we know he, we know what we think about him, but is he really that good? It started with this offer from Texas Tech. From there, his name spread like wildfire, and so did the offers. They told me as soon as I got the offer, okay, you're probably going to start blowing up a little bit, and I didn't, I didn't really believe it because, you know, it's just – from Groover, you know, you don't really expect that stuff. And then about a week later, 10 more offers have rolled in. And it's like, whoa, where is this coming from? As much as they blow his phone up, they blow our phone up too. <laughs> Along with the offers comes the opportunity for unofficial and official visits where athletes get the behind the scenes look at a school's football program. They roll out the red carpet for you and they really want to show you, you know, that they uh, sincerely want your, your kid to be there. We get there decently early, just uh, meet the coaches, uh, usually go put on the gear and stuff and uh, just see what you look like in it. And the coaches want to see it and just, you know, kind of honestly hype you up a little bit and just say, dang, you look good in that. Not surprisingly, this much attention can make it hard to stay humble. But Jalen says that's why he relies on his close-knit family. I don't want to be that cocky guy to my uh, little siblings. Uh, I want, to, I want them to be able to look up to me and see that, you know, he can handle big pressure games, big situations, big cameras, lights, whatever in his face, and uh, he's just the same Jalen he is around the house. I've always told him that, that sports is not his greatest gift, that that is. So. The time is ticking on Jalen to make a decision on where he plans on going to school, but for now, him and the rest of the Conyers are just going to enjoy the process. In Groover, I'm Zach Martin.